हेलो हेलो आवाज आते आवाज आते का हेलो ओके लास्ट टाइम वी हैव सी द कम्युनिकेशन इन बीच हनी बीच कम्युनिकेशन इन हनी बीच सो एनी वन हैव डाउट रिगार्डिंग द कम्युनिकेशन इन हनी बीच कुणाला समज नाही असं आहे का कम्युनिकेशन इन अ कम्युनिकेशन This is the important topic for examination. Mostly, uh, exam in the examination question will be arise on that communication in a honeybees. So, much little na hai as a hai ka onala honeybees madhe communication ka sohta. Hello. So, much no center which ra. Asma. आहे का कोणाला डाऊट आहे का डाऊट कोणाला नाही हू इन्व्हेंटेड दिस कम्युनिकेशन इन अ हने बी विच सायंटिस्ट यु द नेम ऑफ दॅट सायंटिस्ट काय नाव आहे सायंटिस्ट नाव सायंटिस्ट सांगा हू फर्स्ट टाइम डिस्कवर्ड दॅट कम्युनिकेशन इन हनी बीज माहिती आहे का सायंटिस्ट चं नाव she awarded uh, by the nobel prize for that invention in honey bees carl von fish carl von fish this is the scientist first time invented the communication in honey bees and he was awarded by the nobel prize okay so uh, round dance and wagtail dance or waggle dance this uh, two dance um, is mainly useful for the communication in a honey bees for their uh, for their food purpose okay waggle dance and round dance uh, if their food is uh, available less than 50 meter area they perform a round dance and if food available is more than 50 meter area they perform a waggle dance or wagtail dance okay the next topic that is the enemies of honey bees in that pest of honey bees and diseases of honey bees in that first one pest mainly uh, wax moth this is the major pest of honey bee in that greater wax moth and lesser wax moth these two uh, major pest of honey bees mainly infect to their combs that's why it is called as a wax moth greater wax moth and lesser wax moth then ants also the pest of honey bees was in that was in that yellow banded hornet was bee hunter was these two species of was also infest to the honey bees then wax beetle birds and other enemies so these are the major pest of a honey bees so first one that is the greater 
वैक्स मॉथ साइंटिफिक नेम गैलेरिया मेलोनेला फैमिली गैलेरिडी ऑर्डर लिपिडोप्टेरा सो दिस इज द इमेजेस ऑफ लार्वल स्टेज एंड अडल स्टेज ऑफ दैट ग्रेटर वैक्स मॉथ सो अडल्ट मेनली ब्राउनिश इन कलर फीमेल अडल्ट मेनली इंटर्स इन देयर हाइव ड्यूरिंग द नाइट हावर्स एंड डिपोजिट देयर creamy white eggs in a groups in the cracks and crevices of the hives and combs and it and in the gap between super and brood chambers so mainly there a site of oviposition in the cracks and crevices of the hives and combs also in the super and uh, gap between super and brood chambers in artificial bee keeping as uh, bee keeping hives so in that caterpillar this is the caterpillar which is a dirty whitish in color eggs period is near about 8 to 10 days larval period 30 days and pupal period days so mainly caterpillar is the damaging stage of that pest so initially after hatching from the eggs this uh, larva mainly tunnels into the combs and feed on the pollen which is stored in that combs also feed on the wax propolis and royal jelly and make a silken galleries in that tunnels so you can easily identify that uh, infestation in your infested hives making a silken galleries in the infested hives and their main food that is the pollen wax propolis and royal jelly a complete damage of the combs with numerous black fecal pellets when the damage is a heavy or in a severe case so black fecal uh, pellets you can observe in the infested combs Uh, mainly this uh, uh, wax moth greater wax infestation is mainly noticed uh, in a uh, uncovered or partially covered uh, combs or in a uh, weaker colonies so this uncovered uncovered or partially covered combs means uh, the their combs of the honey bees is not totally covered by the their bees population so this uncovered or partially covered combs or weaker colonies means uh, weaker colonies means there uh, less population in that colonies so these uh, colonies mainly susceptible for the greater wax moth infestation the next uh, species of the wax moth that, that is the lesser wax moth acharya grisella this uh, acharo acharya grisella species mainly uh, comparatively at higher altitudes in the higher altitudes their damage is moon mainly on the mainly on the combs higher altitudes means this lesser wax moth infestation mainly noticed at higher altitudes higher altitudes means kya unchi cha thikani jast unchi varti so caterpillars mainly feed on the debris of the combs so this lesser wax moth caterpillar mainly infest on the debris of the combs combs madhe kay je debris astil tacha varti yacha infestation ast te debris dissat ka nahi yacha madhe te debris mainly tacha varti he infest kartat then ants next one pest uh, pest of the honey bees in that black ant camponotus compressus household red ant dorilus labiatus monomorium species 
these are the three important uh, and species mainly in fish to the combs of a honey bees they mainly attack we colonies and carry away the honey pollen and the brood leading to destruction of leading to destruction and end of the colony so these ants mainly uh, attack on the weak colonies carry away the pollen honey and the brood leading to the destruction and end of the colony brood means brood manje kay brood young ones brood means young ones that is the larval stage of the honey bees they also carry the larval stage honey pollen from their colonies and due to that infestation due to that infestation totally destruction and end of the colony may be occurs then was in that yellow band banded hornet was vespa singta b hunter was pelarus orientalis b hunter was philanthus ramakrishnan ramakrishnani these are the three important uh, was species mainly attack on the honey bee or their colonies so first one that is the yellow banded or yellow band banded hornet was scientific name vespa singta family vespidi order hymenoptera so this is the comparatively uh, large species of the was with a broad transverse yellow band on their abdomen so this is the broad transverse yellow band on their abdomen a social insect constructing papery nest in the hollow spaces this is the social insect mainly living in the groups and constructing their papery nest in a hollow space it waits near the entrance so this is the uh, entrance uh, at that entrance uh, this yellow hornet yellow band banded hornet was waited for the uh, honey bees which is comes out from that hives and after comes out they capture the bees and destroy it or which be uh, which bees comes from the field also they capture and destroy then bee hunter was scientific name pelarus orientalis this is the red colored with transverse yellow lines on their abdomen it catch bees while on the flight a wasp can collect 80 bees a day stings and carry them to the underground nest and place one in each of the compartment of their nest we put the eggs on the back of each bees the grubs on hatching feeds also that grubs of the honey bees the next uh, pest that is the wax beetles platybolium alvarium family tenebrionidae polyptera this beetle mainly feeds mainly found in hives under unhygienic condition feeds on the debris and on the old combs in a weak colonies unhygienic condition manje kay in a artificial bee hives there is not a proper hygienic condition Uh, maintained in that hives so this hives mainly infested by the wax beetle in unhygienic conditions they mainly feeds on the debris and old combs in a weak colonies so uh, properly remove the debris old combs from the weak colonies should prevent the infestation of that wax beetles
then non insect paste in that wax beetles non insect paste in that birds king crow bee eater so the um, birds mainly capture the bees and devour them found in a hives under unhygienic condition as same like same like the this is the bee eater uh, bird species merops orientalis they capture the bee and destroy or feed on that bees other enemies in that spinax caterpillar acherontia cystics enters the hives and consume the hive at the stage of that spinax caterpillar uh, or spinax moth mainly feed on the colonies cockroaches enter the bee colonies and also feed on that infested colonies micus fowl smell to the hives robber flies leaf cutter bees dragon flies praying mantids lizards frogs toads bears termites these are the other enemies of the honey bees key points should be uh, understand to prevent the enemies first one maintain vigorous colonies with adequate food store so we should minimize the infestation of that pest regularly observe and clean the hives destroy the infested combs we should prevent the infestation by uh, following these methods then remove excess comb from the hives and store them in a closed containers so mainly this uh, preventive measures we should minimize the infestation of that pest so there uh, there, is, there is no any one chemical methods or any biological method for the management of that pest so we should properly uh, maintain vigorous colony adequate food in the case of uh, honey flow honey flow honey flow period that time we should provide the artificial diet that is the sugary sugar syrup then regularly observe the colonies clean the hives destroy infected infected combs remove excess comb from the hives so these are the preventive points uh, should follow for the properly management of that pest okay this is all about the pest of honey bees in that wax moth greater wax moth and lesser wax moth then ants three species black ant household red ant monomorium species then wasp in that yellow banded hornet wasp bee hunter was wax beetle birds king crow bee eater and other enemies in that spinax moth cockroach robber flies dragon flies praying mantids lizards frogs toads bears termites so these are the major pests of honey bees the next point that is the diseases of a honey bees honey bees Uh, mainly suffering from various bacterial viral and fungal diseases so loss of brood affect the various diseases and due to that colony will be uh, strength of colony will be reduced adult bees are not affected by brood disease but they can spread the causal organisms brood diseases are more serious than the adult diseases brood diseases are american fall brood european fall brood high sac brood sac brood and fungal diseases so brood diseases means je larval stage la disease atat larval stage la that disease la apan kaun to brood diseases which are more serious than the adult diseases 
first one brood disease that is the american fowl brood disease this is the hatel bacterial disease of a honey bee brood caused by this spore forming bacteria that bacteria name is the penicillin peni bacillus hatel manje kay hatel bacterial disease causing a death of a infested larva so this one is the hatel bacterial disease due to that uh, disease uh, larval should be larva should be uh, death in the larva should be occur or destruction of a hive should be also occur due to that american fowl brood disease and this is the spore forming uh, this disease is caused by the spore forming bacterium peni bacillus it is not a trace related disease and can infect the strongest to the weakest colonies in a apiary strongest colony also infest or weakest colony should also be infested by the american fowl brood disease infected brood usually die at the pre pupal and pupal stage so this is uh, in that picture we can see the infested pre pupal stage of that american fowl brood infested larvae before uh, pre pupal or pupal stage this uh, honeybee species should be died in a pre pupal or pupal stage the next one that is the european fowl brood disease melisu coccus proton this is also a bacterial disease that affect the honey bee broods mainly larval stage so in that picture this one is the healthy larva without the infestation of a european fowl brood disease and in that red arrows these are the infected european fowl brood disease so their color uh, healthy uh, larva color should be becomes creamy whitish in color and in the infected european fowl brood disease in that color of that larva is a uh, changes from uh, dark yellowish to the lastly finally becomes a blackish colored larva seen in the infected uh, combs so these are the totally blackish colored larva uh, death uh, death should be occurs due to the infestation of that european fowl brood bacterial disease so color of the larva is totally change in the infected fowl brood disease european fowl brood disease then thigh sac brood disease why it is called as thigh sac brood disease because this disease is first time observed in the thailand in the year 1976 on apes serena causing 100% mortality in india this this is first time appeared in the meghalaya and assam in the year 1978 and 1980 it also spread in the neighboring states uh, uttar pradesh punjab and neighboring states in the north india and in the case of severe infestation totally colony of that uh, infested thigh sac brood uh, disease should be ruled out so a sac like structure is generally formed due to the infestation of that uh, thigh sac brood disease the causative agent is the thigh sac brood disease this attack mainly apis serena indica the dead brood is found in a pre pupal stage in a sealed stage the pupa turn into a sac like structure and filled with a lemon colored liquid at their posterior end pupa turn into a sac like structure and in that sac like structure this is this sac like structure is filled with a lemon colored liquid at their posterior 
obtained. So this is the sign of infestation of high sap root disease. In advanced stage, larvae change their appearance from yellowish to brownish to black color. Initially, uh, infested larva becomes yellowish, then uh, severity increase, they become brownish, and lastly, they become uh, blackish in color. The next one, this is that is the sac brood disease, is a virus disease attacking Apis mellifera species. The diseased larva appears sac like structure and hence their name is the sac brood disease but so far this disease is not reported in our country then chalk brood disease and stone brood disease so this disease is mainly caused due to the fungus ascos spera apis that cause chalk brood only attacks on the larval stage when the spores are ingested into the body of a larva, they germinate in the larval bodies and mycelia, which is grow on their body and they penetrate the epidermis and enters into their body. Also, they uh, covering the pre-pupal stage in a short, uh, short, time, short time span, they cause mummification of the diseased larva and their Appearance of that uh, diseased larva is like a chalk or stone, white stone or chalk. That's why it is called as a chalk brood disease or and stone brood disease. So these are the four major diseases. Diseases, American fowl brood, European fowl brood, high sack brood, sack brood and fungal diseases. So American fowl brood and European fowl brood, fowl brood diseases are mainly severely Increased to the brood or uh, young, one, young one that is the larval stage of that honeybees. So, so a pest and disease is also an important topic for the examination. Mostly question will be arise on the pest and diseases of a honeybees. Kunala doubt a shelter, which are a paste and this is with the Kunala question ka shelter. Mainly brood diseases are more serious as compared to the adult diseases. Paste and diseases were the hampas tumala examination madhi question which are lay data. Paste and diseases of a anibis. Important topic I paste and diseases. Kunalaka doubt or shelter which are of paste and diseases. Samajna yas ka hai ka. Okay. The next topic that is the role of honeybee in a cross pollination. For sexual reproduction in a flowering plants, transfer of anther to the stigma is essential. That it is called as a pollination. Cell pollination means transfer stigma to same plant. No external agents are required in a cell pollination. In a cross pollination, transfer of pollen from one plant to the stigma of another plant is required, and external agents are involved in that cross pollination process. The external agents involved in the pollination mainly abiotic agents like wind, water, also involved in that external agents. Wind is the abiotic agents involved in the cross pollination. 
that type of pollination is called as a anemophily cross anemophily pollination. Biotic agents mainly involved in the cross pollination in that first one wind that is called as anemophily pollination. Wind carries pole, uh, wind carries pollen from one plant to the another plant. Flowers are small, unattractive in that wind pollination is takes place. Pollens are dry and light in weight, stigma feathery with a large surface area mainly maize barley wheat sugarcane in that uh, these are the examples of a anemophily pollination then water also a uh, external agents involved in a pollination water carries uh, water carries pollen from one plant to the other then uh, biotic agents in that birds, bat, insects are important biotic agents involved in a cross pollination. Among insects, honeybee, honeybees play a major role. So honeybee um, play a major role and effectively honeybee uh, do that cross pollination is a very effectively in a plants. So, what is the main reason in that, uh, that is the honeybee play a dominant role in a cross-pollination? Anyone have idea regarding that? Honeybee, uh, dominant ka hai pollination madhe? Honeybee just the uh, dominant kyuma just active ka hai pollination madhe. Karan ka si shakil. Honeybee is the main food ka hai. Honeybee kashavarti feed karta. Then the main food ka hai. Nectar. Nectar and pollen. So this nectar and pollen is available in uh, flowers. That's why uh, their main food is the nectar and pollen and that's why compulsory they visit to the flower for the collection of nectar and pollen. That's why they play important role or major role in the cross pollination and that's why they are the effective or most dominant in the cross pollination due to that mainly honeybees uh, mainly honeybees do 80% to 90% pollination in uh, plants Qualities of honeybees which make them good pollinators. What qualities are honeybees? The pollinators The first one uh, quality that is the bee. Honeybees body is totally covered with the hairs, and due to that hairs, pollens uh, stick on that hairs, and uh, that pollen should be transferred from one flower to the another flower. So this is the one quality that is the bees body covered with the hairs. Then bees are not injurious to the plants. Only they visit to the flowers and does not feed on that particular plants. So not injurious to the plants. Adults and larvae feed on the nectar and 
pollen which is available plenty in flowers superior pollinators since store pollen and nectar for, for future use no dipoles need pollen throughout their year so no any one uh, stage of that honey bees which is a uh, in a resting condition that is the dipoles body size body size proboscis length is suitable for uh, their collection of pollen and nectar pollinate wide variety of crops uh, forage in extreme condition also so foraging means collection of nectar collection of nectar and pollen so in extreme condition they also collect that pollens and nectars then effect of honey bees pollinating on crops increase the yield that is the main effect then improve the quality of foods as well as seeds bee pollination increase oil content in a seeds of sunflower bee pollination is the most in some silk incompatible crops for setting up a seed then crops benefited by the bee pollination in that foods almond apple apricot peach strawberry citrus lychee in vegetables cabbage cauliflower carrot coriander cucumber melon onion pumpkin radish turnip oil seed crops sunflower niger rape seed mustard safflower gingli gingli means sesame forage seed crops in that lucerne clover these are the uh, cross pollinated crops benefited by the honey bees then percent increases in yield due to the bee pollination in mustard 43% increase in the yield in sunflower 32 32 to 48 in cotton 17 to 19 in lucerne 112 in onion 93% in apple 44% yield is increased due to the pollination of a honey bees management of bees for pollination uh, for that purpose place a hives which is very near to the source of their uh, pollen and nectar migrate colonies near field at 10% flowering place colonies at three colonies should be placed per hectare area in italian bees hive colony should be placed per hectare area uh three colony should be kept in case of italian bees per hectare area and five colony should be in place in five colony should be placed in one hectare area in a indian honey bees the colony should have five to six frame strength of a bee so this is sealed brood have young mated queens so this is the requirement of that colony also supplies uh, also sufficient space for the pollen and honey should be also allow sufficient space for pollen and honey storage in that uh, hives so this is the uh, major role of a honey bees in a cross pollination of a plant and uh, increases increase the yield as well as quality of a and uh, that product should be increased due to the honey bees cross pollination in the most of the in a pomegranate orchards farmers required uh, a honey bee honey bees for their fruit setting in a uh, pomegranate orchards as well as in the seed production plots of a honey bee uh, in the seed production plots of a onion in that compulsory honey bee a uh, honey bees are required for the cross pollination so increase the demand of that uh, hives for the uh, fruit setting as well as increase the yield that's purpose farmers awares regarding the keeping their uh, keeping honey bee hives in their orchards or in a field for pollination purpose or for the increase the yield so mainly uh, bee keepers which are engaged in the in that business and they charge 1000 rupees per month for the 
वन हाइव्स ऑन दी फार्मर्स वन थाउजेंड रुपीज शुड बी चार्ज फॉर दी कीपिंग ऑफ देयर हनी बी हाइव्स इन दैट इन द फार्मर्स फील्ड फॉर दी वन मंथ ड्यूरेशन वन थाउजेंड रुपीज दे शुड चार्ज सो इंक्रीज द डिमांड ऑफ दैट हाइव्स पर्टिकुलरली बी हाइव्स इन द पोमोग्रेनेट ऑर्चर्स and their result also uh, result of that hives which are stored in the pomegranate or orchards also get to the farmers so that's why farmers also demanding for the honey bee hives which is kept in a in their orchards ठीक है अजु का शंका विचरा ठीक है 